Hi, I'm Vic, and welcome to Geeko Farm, where we do things differently. Right, let's go in there. Ah, someone shrunk my greenhouse. That's because today we're in Matter Matter. That's a, a Maori word for flattened flat. You can see why. Matter Matter is known to the rest of the world as Hobbiton because that's where the Lord of the Rings Hobbit movies were filmed. Well, Bilbo Baggins' pad anyway. And as New Zealand is a relatively small place, population wise, and uh, The Hobbit's a very big film, just about everybody uh, has someone in the family who was in The Hobbit or involved with it. Uh, we certainly have. Anyway, uh, this is the brother-in-law's place, and around the back is a field. And in this field, they have grown potatoes for making potato chips, or crisps, as some people call them. And um, they have all been harvested and then taken away to the potato factory, or rather, crisp factory. There's food to be had here, if you look a little bit closer. Let's go out and find some free food, because I reckon free food tastes better. Oh. This being Hobbiton, of course, got to do it in bare feet. And oh, look, potato. So when they're after the spuds for making crisps, they don't worry about the little ones, so they don't harvest them. All the more for us. And that's not just small potatoes. With the aid of uh, a free lemon. Yeah. And uh, some onions. I think we've got ourselves the making of a chickpea and potato stew. Another source of free tucker in Matter Matter are these things. Chestnuts. They're a bit like little green hedgehogs. Um, and now they fall from the trees. Often the damn things will land on you in pairs just to make sure you really get the message. It's like having a couple of baby hedgehogs dropped on you from a great height. A lot of them just burst when they hit the ground, but the preferred harvesting technique is to find one that still looks nice and green and then roll your foot back and forth on it like that until it gives in. Then grab the nuts from inside. As long as you don't squash them, you'll get two or three per hedgehog, but generally one will be flat and not worth having. They're prickly buggers though, and they'll get you if you aren't paying attention. The sweet chestnut trees are common in these parts because they provide good shade for livestock, and the timber makes exceptionally good rot-resistant fence posts. In days gone by, it was much favoured for this purpose. However, treated timber is taken over these days. The trees still work fine, though. They used to be a popular street food when I was a young lad uh, in the UK, but um, you know, modern laws and everything seems to have gone out of favour. <laughs> As you can hear, there's uh, traffic over there, not that far off the main road. Uh, so this is a, a popular place for uh, particularly Asian people who appreciate things, these things quite a lot to come and get a free feed as well. When over the wind picks up though it's wise to get you back to the trunk. In the UK we always used to roast these things. It was quite exciting. You'd uh, put a cross in the tail of most of them um, and you'd leave one without a cross on it stack them all up in front of the fire and wait for it to explode because the cross would let the steam out and uh, the other ones just build up and went boom. The uh, more common method around here, particularly, uh, oh, I believe the French do it as well, is to boil the things and uh, then shell them when they're cool. 
Not quite as exciting though. Well, that's enough for me. Tell you one thing though, you won't catch me harvesting these buggers barefoot. With some vegetarians in the family, we don't often eat Hobbit, but found a few places in the town. Matamata is famous for its horse racing, which of course makes it an excellent environment for hobbits to hide in. There are hobbits everywhere. We try to keep the numbers down, but you know. Hobbits have had one good idea though, the concept of a second breakfast. So, from here in Matamata, that's your lot, down on Kiko Farm. Second breakfast, anyone?